Hi guys! In this video I'm going to customize my first Cape Club doll. But before we get started, I wanted to check if I have any matching shoes for her, because she doesn't come with them. Obviously, the regular Monster High shoes for girls don't fit her, but the ones for the men dolls seems quite promising. Maybe a bit long, but yeah, this fit her. Anyway, it's just a fun information if you are looking for shoes for your Cave Club doll. I bought her a few months ago in a store, so she is brand new basically. I kinda feel bad for her because I only repaint second handles. I give them a new chance for life. But I couldn't resist myself, she is so cute. She has totally different body and head from the Monster High dolls what I usually customize. So I'm super excited. I think she's the perfect choice for oak fairies and goblins. That's why I'm going to turn her into a Christmas elf. I'm going to save her hair. It's in a really good condition. I think it can come handy in a future project. I'm trying to cut it as close to the scalp as I can. Off camera I heated up the head with a hair dryer. This way I can easily disconnect it from the body. Next step is to remove the remaining hair from the inside with long tweezers. It's a bit more difficult, her neck hole is much smaller than Monster High dolls. Let's wipe off her factory makeup, for this I'm using pure acetone. This time I won't buff her body, I decided not to blush it. So I'm going to move on her ear modifications. These ears are so adorable, but not enough pointy. An elf needs pointy ears. So I'm poking needle into them to make holes for the wires, where I'm going to build two part milliput. I'm twisting the end and then I'm pulling back the wire. I cut off the excess lengths. I'm using this technique because I'm afraid the milliput would break off by putting the head back onto the body. Feel free to use water during sculpting, it makes it much easier. After you are done with sculpting, let it cure for a couple of hours. Now it's time to paint those ears. I mix similar colors to her skin tone, it's not 100% the same, but it's fine because later I will blush them. After spraying her with two layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, I start sketching her face by using light watercolor pencils. I saw someone using white charcoal pencil for the eye whites, and I knew I have them, so I immediately thought I have to try them out on her. I don't remember the name of the artist who used this technique, so I have to apologize, but it looks quite promising for the first layer. Let's keep working on the blushing, and then we can see how will it look after the sealing. And yeah, as you can see, it faded a lot. A lot more than the watercolor. But don't give up, let's keep building those layers. I really like that uh, smirky smile on her face mold. I wanna keep this and I would like to give her the expression that she is determined she is ready to help Santa and prepare all the gifts for the children. I'm not planning to give her harsh makeup, only a little eyeshadow. You know, she has a festive mood, but she's very busy. She would ruin it in the Christmas rush. She has reddish cheeks, nose and ears, because she is running everywhere to make everything perfect. I gave her three layers of white charcoal pencils, but it's still very light. So I'm using my well-tested Derwent Inktense pencils again.
while I was drawing the eyes, it was in my mind I want them to look big, innocent, full of bitter joy, and I think I nailed it. Somehow I felt like I don't need to gloss the eyes and lips this time. I always do it, but I just had a bad feeling it would ruin it or it would be really hard to take photos. I also skipped giving her eyelashes, just double eyeliner and bottom lashes. After drawing the last details, I'm moving directly to the next stage, the hair. I'm going to use yarn. I've already cut them to equal lengths, now I'm tying them around this wire. After I finished tying all the pieces, I can brush them out with a pet brush. Kif cup dolls have much bigger head than Monster High, so you will need more wefts. This is all the yarn fluff what was left during the brushing. Don't throw it out, it might can come handy for other projects. Two videos ago, I made cute pumpkin decorations out of yarn fluff. Let me know if you would you like to see winter decorations out of it. I used my flat iron to make the yarn look more like real hair. Then I'm gluing them on a piece of plastic document holder. So after it dries, it will be easy to peel them off. The wefts are ready to use. I will glue them directly to the scalp by using hot glue gun, but before that I drew the hairline. I glued all the wefts, now it's time to style her hair. I will cut bangs for her with an eyebrow razor and then I will braid her hair. Let's continue with the outfit. I collected all the fabrics that could match her. First, I start with the stockings. She has much thicker legs than Monster High dolls, so I had to make new pattern for her. And make sure you are using non-fraying stretchy fabric. First, I tried non-elastic fabric and I couldn't put it on her. I also had to make new pattern for the bodies. I sew all the pieces together, not forgetting the sleeves. Off camera I made the bottom of her dress and I sewed it together with the bodice. I added velcro on the back. But I still feel she is missing something. So I'm going to decorate the bottom with red pom pom trim and later she will also get a little belt around her waist. The 
The dress is done. Next is the hat. I measured her head, then I made cone-shaped pattern, but I cut it out of green and red fabrics. I'm sewing the sides together, I turn the right side out, and then I will add red pom-pom to the end. The tip of the hat looked a weird a bit on her head, so I stitched it to the bottom. Our final element is the shoes. I'm using Vorbla thermoplastic. I cut out matching pattern out of Vorbla, I heated it up with my flat iron, so it can be easily molded. Don't forget to protect the legs with kitchen foil before you put on the hot Vorbla. I glued green fabric onto the shoes, the same one I used for the hat. I cut off the excess fabric and with the tip of the glue gun I tried to make it as flat as I could. I decorated the shoes with red pom-poms and to cover the ugly seam allowance I'm gluing black felt. And with this our Christmas elf is ready to help Santa. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next one is going to be another Christmas repaint. So, see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye!